Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we're going to talk about the U.S. Constitution. We are going to talk about Title 18, Section 2071, which is a uh, part of the U.S. Code that is making the rounds on social media right now in meme format and has a whole lot of people really excited. We're going to talk about that statute and its possible applications to former President Trump. Um, and we're going to talk about changing the legal definition of treason because these two topics are closely related, but probably not for the reason you think. <laughs> okay, so we'll go over the treason stuff first because that's quick. I had a question that came in and said, hey, you know, it, it, with everything going on, is there any way Congress can go in and change the definition of treason to make it a little bit more applicable to everything going on today? And the answer to that is kind of, but no, not really. Treason is a crime outlined in the U.S. Constitution, Article 3, Section 3, Clause 1. It states, Treason against the United States shall consist only in levying war against them or in adhering to their enemies, giving them aid and comfort. That's what treason is, period, full stop. If Congress wants to change that, they don't need a bill. They need an amendment. You'd have to amend the Constitution to change the legal definition of treason. So is it theoretically possible Yes. Is it going to happen? No, because you're never going to get an amendment for that. They'll just pass a bill for a different charge that is kind of similar and use that instead. They'll create a new statute under a new crime. Okay, so now on to the part that everybody's probably curious about. Title 18, Section 2071. It is a statute that deals with the removal of books maps, papers from public offices. And short version, if you remove stuff you're not supposed to, let's say, hypothetically speaking, boxes upon boxes of it from the White House and take it to a golf course, you might be in violation of this law. And the reason people are excited is because the penalties are kind of unique. The first one is a fine. The second one is up to three years in prison. The third one is that you get disqualified. You can't run for public office anymore. That's why people are excited. That's what's on the memes. And all of that is true. However, there, there's something here that uh, we, we should go over, and this is the point where I burst everybody's bubble. The qualification to, to be president, they are also defined in the U.S. Constitution. As it applies today, you have to be 35 years old, be a resident of the country for 14 years, and be a natural-born citizen. Period. Full stop. If Congress wants to change that, they need an amendment, not a bill, not a statute. Um... The portion about being disqualified, that is, it's very likely that that is unconstitutional. That that portion cannot be applied to any office that has its qualifications expressed in the Constitution. Um, if it's defined in the Constitution, they can't change it that way. Because in essence, they're changing the qualifications, and now they are, you have to be 35 be a resident for 14 years, be a natural-born citizen, and have never been convicted of this crime. They can't do it. Um, there are two cases dealing with something similar, Powell versus McCormick and U.S. Term Limits Incorporated versus Thornton. And what, basically what, what's been decided is that Congress doesn't even have the power to change Congress's qualifications. They can't alter what was expressly defined in the U.S. Constitution without an amendment. If Congress can't alter their own qualifications, they certainly cannot alter the qualifications for the presidency. So the part that has people really excited is probably 
unconstitutional and probably isn't going to be applied. Um, now, if you're looking for a silver lining, uh, there were, in fact, boxes of stuff that were supposed to be at the White House or go to the archives that were, in, in fact, down at the golf course. Um, now, whether or not the former president has any legal liability for that, well, that, that's up for debate, I guess. But uh, that part is true. Um, there, there were documents recovered from down there. So it, there is a, uh, a possible avenue that prosecutors could look at as far as seeking an indictment and a conviction. But that penalty that everybody's super excited about, not going to be applied. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.